Hey, what's going on guys? Here I am once again with another review. This time I'm talking about a movie, a Swedish film called A Hole in My Heart. And now let's talk about um, the director of this movie. Now I've seen this other movie called Lilja Forever. And this movie is from the same director as this movie I'm going to talk about right now. But right off the bat I'm going to tell you, if you guys haven't seen Lilja Forever, go check it out. Um... It's by the same director. Okay, so let's get to this movie. So, I had heard about this movie uh, from other reviews. And it's a Swedish film. But the whole film is in Swedish. But it had subtitles. Like the copy that I watched. And uh, I don't know why. But like I was expecting something like... Uh, like before I watched this movie, I was expecting like crazy kind of like some crazy uh psycho sexual stuff or i don't know like just some crazy shit um so the story involves this guy that he is this dude he's like a father but he's also like this this porn star and um he lives with his son and he shoots all his movies like in his house so he's always shooting these type of movies in his house and his son is like like in the other room and shit so um that was that was weird and that was really awkward and sort of disturbing and so we have these people that are always shooting uh this this porn film and then like the son he's kind of like uh emo kind of like very depressed emo kid he doesn't barely leaves his room and he barely uh, talks to his dad. You know, he always listening to like heavy metal music. And he just does his own thing. So, um, I don't want to tell too much of the story. But, the like, I was expecting something a lot crazier, man. Like, the way people describe this movie, I was really expecting something like, you know, just something off the wall. I don't know. I just had, like, these things in my head or I... You know prepare for the worst but most of this movie has a lot of dialogue most of the movie is very dialogue driven and there's barely any um what should i say there is some violent scenes in here but there's very few in between the dialogue that's here there's a lot of dialogue and i mean it's cool and everything but there wasn't enough here to really uh say well i was shocked you know, I was disturbed because there's nothing really here that does that. I mean, if you're expecting a violent, gory movie, this is not that. And um, the acting, I don't know how well the acting is because I don't know Swedish, what's good Swedish acting. But I guess it's okay. I mean, I understood everything with the whole script and everything, the, the dialogue. And I mean, almost like... One hour into this movie, it started to feel like a chore, and I just kind of wanted it, it to be over, you know. And it's not that long of a film, but by the end, I kind of yeah, was like try, ready to give up and say, uh, I'm done with this movie. Um, now, I can't say it's actually either too dramatic, too, because there's barely any dramatic moments in here. But I felt this was more like a thriller or dramatic thriller type of movie. Um, like I said, there's barely any violence, any gore in here. There is a lot of close-ups of genitalia, though. Not a lot, like maybe one, two scenes that, you know, the camera focuses on, like... Because, I mean, after all, this is a movie about these people, like... It's only, like, two guys, the dad and the male porn star... That that's the cameraman so it records everything but sometimes he'll jump in and like you know uh like if the male porn star can't perform he'll like jump in and you know do the scene but yeah man for a movie about porn stars it was really kind of dull and you know i've seen better movies like this like i can think of um I mean, I'm not going to compare this movie to a Serbian film because a Serbian film is way better than this. and But it has some similar themes. So, I guess I was expecting this movie to be like a Serbian film, you know. But, I don't know, man. 
I don't know why I expected that. But there's also another movie that comes to mind when I watch this. Uh, it was called that, uh, The Tumbling Doll of Flesh. Because that movie also involves, like, you know, these porn stars uh, that are trying to make, like, a different film. But, yeah, this is just, I don't know, man. Like, if you want, you could watch it. I mean, I really didn't, you know, I wasn't shocked or disturbed. I really didn't like the film. But now I can say I finally watched the film because I've been wanting to see the film for a while. And, you know, I can check it off the list. But... Nah, there's nothing really new here. Nothing really that stands out. I mean, the only thing I could say is that the girl, the female porn star, she was pretty hot. And maybe that's like the only reason I kept watching because there is, you know, like... Uh, she's pretty fun. Actually, she was like the most fun character in the whole movie. Because she was always like doing fun stuff. I mean, of course, you know, you see her nude and stuff, but... Out of all the characters in this movie, she was the only likable character, to be honest. And, yeah, man, I don't know, like, I don't know what to say. I mean, I guess I can kind of recommend it, but not really. I would pass on this movie and instead watch, um, like, if you want to see a good Swedish movie, I would watch uh, the other movie that this director did, which is called Lilja Forever. And it's on YouTube. Um... I think it's still on there. It's called Lilja Forever. I think it came out in 2012. And that, I actually thought it was a better movie. Um, I guess they do fall in their drama thriller. Same category as this, but, you know, with all these other silliness going on. But, yeah, man, um, that's what I thought about Hole in the, My Hole. No, what's it called? Uh, hole in My Heart. Yes, that's what it's called. Hole in My Heart. So, uh, I like the title of this movie, though, you know. Kind of throws you off, but yeah. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. And next video I do, I will promise I'll, like, try to cover a better movie than this. You know, I don't know, if, like, the movies that I'm going to watch are good or bad or whatever. You know, I really don't know. I kind of like that I don't know, but it's always going to be a hit or miss with these videos, you know. I mean, most of the time, the movies that I cover are really going to suck, you know. But once in a while, you get some, some gems, man. Some hidden gems. And yeah, man. I'll try to get more of those to talk to with you guys. And um, if you guys are curious about A Hole in My Heart, go watch the trailer. I think it's on YouTube. Most of the movies that I cover, you can find the trailer on YouTube, you know, and decide if you want to check it out. But yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.